friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to make a beautiful pyramid purse. I am going to use yarn of two colors for this project and a zipper and of course a needle and thread for stitching. I am going to use a hook of 2.5 mm for this project. So we have to begin with yarn of color A and with slip knot. Now we have to do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we did 30 chains. Now skip the first chain into the next stitch. Insert the hook and pull through putra 2. Single crochet 1. Single crochet 1 into the next stitch. Single crochet 1 into the next stitch. Single crochet 1 into the next stitch. So we have to do one single crochet into all the stitches across the row. So there would be 29 stitches. Complete the row and we will meet again when this row would be completed. When we have completed doing single crochet into all the stitches across the row, we have to do chain 1. Now we have to turn the pattern. We are not going to count this chain. Into the first stitch, single crochet 1, single crochet 2, on the top of the next stitch, single crochet 3, on the top of the next stitch, single crochet 4. So we have to do this row and 18 more rows so we have to complete 20 rows for this pattern complete doing 20 rows of single crochet and we will meet again when 20 rows would be completed when we have completed doing 20 rows of single crochet we are going to make these two sides of the coin purse even so we are going to do single crochet to make these sides even. Complete doing single crochet on the top of each stitch on both the sides and we will meet again when we have completed doing single crochet on both sides of the coin purse. We completed doing single crochet on both sides of the spurs. We have to do edging with yarn of color B in the same way. So turn the pattern. Now we have to pick up yarn of color B and now we are going to begin with slip knot. Now take the side, insert the hook in, now pull through. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two. Into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two. Into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two. This way, we are going to begin edging with this color for the second side of this purse. Now insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. Insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. Insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. So keep on doing this to the end of the side and we will meet again when this row would be completed. When this row is complete, turn the pattern. Now, we have to do chain 1, 2. Chain 1 for chain space. This is the front loop and this is the back loop. Skip a stitch into the back loop of the next stitch. Yarn over. Insert the hook in. Pull through. Pull through all the three a half double crochet. 
chain 1 for chain space yarn over skip a stitch into the back loop of the next stitch insert the hook and pull through pull through all the three chain 1 for chain space yarn over skip a stitch into the back loop of the next stitch insert the hook and pull through pull through all the three chain 1 for chain space yarn over skip a stitch into the back loop of the next stitch insert the hook and pull through pull through all the three chain 1 for chain space so complete the row following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when we completed doing half double crochet chain 1 across the row we have to turn the pattern now into this chain space of 1 insert the hook and pull through pull through 2 single crochet 1 chain 1 2 3 join the stitches on the top of the same stitch for 5 cord into the same chain space of 1 single crochet 2 chain 1 2 3 join the stitches on the top of the same stitch for 5 cord into the next chain space of 1 single crochet 1 chain 1 2 3 join the stitches on the top of the same stitch for 5 cord into the same stitch single crochet 1 chain 1 2 3 join the stitches on the top of the same stitch for 5 cord so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this row would be completed when the edging with yarn of color B is completed on both sides of this coin purse we are going to add zipper to this so we have to sew this zipper on both the sides of this coin purse with simple stitches in the same way like this so complete sewing the zipper on both the sides with these simple stitches and we will meet again when the zipper would be joined to the both the sides of this purse when we have stitched the zip to the both the sides of this coin purse we are going to sew these two ends of the coin purse so we have to cut this extra part of the zipper Now we are going to stitch these two ends with simple stitches. So complete stitching these two ends and we will meet again when these two ends would be joined. These two ends are joined we are going to stitch these two ends in this way so stitch these two ends also in the same way but the pattern would remain like this complete doing this and we will meet again when this pouch would be ready once this pouch is complete we are going to make this beautiful hanging for the zipper so we are going to continue with yarn of color A and with slip knot chain 3 1 2 3 join the stitches into the fourth stitch with slip stitch chain 1 now we have to do 5 single crochet into the ring so 1 2 3 4 5 join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch with slip stitch now on the top of the 4th stitch chain 1 we are not going to count this chain single crochet 1 single crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch 
single crochet one on the top of the next stitch single crochet one single crochet two so there are four single crochet single crochet five single crochet six into the same stitch single crochet seven into the same stitch single crochet eight single crochet nine into the same stitch single crochet ten now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch we have to complete 10 single crochet and we have to do four rounds so complete doing four rounds of 10 single crochet and we will make again when four rounds would be completed four rounds were complete we did five single crochet by reducing five stitches and we stuffed the hole with fiber now we have to do chain 10 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now we have to join this into the zipper with slip stitch so we have to do slip stitch one so insert the hook in pull through pull through two stitch slip stitch two into the next stitch slip stitch three into the next stitch slip stitch four so complete doing this and we will meet again when this beautiful pouch would be completed beautiful little pouch is going to look like this when it will be completed you can make them in as many colors to match your outfits this can be a very good gifting option too thank you so much